All right, so I'm with uh, Stacy Perlocki and Modesto Fiume, uh, both uh, with Opportunity House, and I just wanted to chat with you guys. Hello. Hi. And just have you tell us, in a nutshell, what uh, what you do here at Opportunity House. Okay, well, I guess Go I'll start. Uh, we, we operate, we originally operated as a homeless shelter for single adults back up until, until the mid-90s. Uh, I became executive director here, and we, we saw an increased need for housing for uh, not just homeless individuals, but families. And we simply put in place an array of services to uh, address the needs of the homeless and get them back on the path of uh, the self, uh, self-sufficiency. Self-sustenance or whatever, so, yeah. So one of the first things we did, we, op- we opened up a child care center, the Second Street Learning Center. It was housed in the basement of the shelter. We put, we put it there so that single moms living in the shelter had a, the ability to go out and find work. Um, Keep their, keep their appointments in the community and know that kids were in a nice, safe place. And we made it affordable for them, obviously, because they were homeless. And then we then got into a supportive housing where we developed a permanent housing for single adults and families. So we felt that there was a lack of affordable housing and that, that remains today. And Seriously. we continue to address that. And so we developed an array of housing, uh, be it the group ho- kind of group home situations for single adults or townhomes and condominiums for for families. And today we have, I think, nine different buildings with 84 formerly homeless men, women, and children living in them. So they've been able to transition from 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 uh, the shelter back into independent living. That's impressive. That's impressive. And then uh, do you work with veterans too, or is it just uh, yeah, that's we have a supportive services for veterans program in Burke, Schuylkill, and Lancaster counties. Okay, all right. We also have a fifth store on North Fifth Street okay. called the Op Shop. Which is open Tuesday through Saturday uh, from sure. 10 a.m. to 7 p.m. Great, I've heard yeah, that. It's a, it's a, we have the retail thrift operation was set up to uh, create jobs for the economically dis- disadvantaged, uh, divert waste from the landfill, and uh, any net revenue would be reinvested back into Hopefully the mission make, of opportunity make a little house. money. Yeah. So the veterans program, what we do is we provide temporary okay. financial assistance to veterans and their families, or okay, either. Uh, in danger of becoming homeless or who have become homeless and if they do become homeless we our goal is to rapidly rapidly rehouse them and get them back into their own place gotcha very good well, thank all you. right so we are with lisa and tatiana if you guys want to introduce yourselves and tell what you do for sure, um, opportunity lisa, yes. lisa tumbleson i'm the vp of shelter housing and daycare and sitting here is the director of the uh, second street learning center tatiana cardona okay so what do you do for opportunity house So I oversee the shelter program, uh, the supportive housing program, and the Second Street Learning Center. Okay, awesome. It's amazing what what all you offer here. How about you, Tatiana? So I'm the director of the child care, and I oversee my whole department. I have about 36 employees, which we take care of children from ages 6 weeks to 13, and we operate Monday to Friday from 530 to 9. Wow, fantastic. Mm -hmm. Well, thank you very much. You're welcome. Appreciate what you do. Thank Thank you. you. (laughs) <laughs> During COVID, for some of you who haven't been here, um, our kitchen was renovated. We got a new stove, a new convection oven. Um, we have got a new dishwasher. Okay. All right, I'm out. But the grant also gave us the ability to renovate our storage area in the back here and start a food pantry. Okay. Yeah, I want um, to take a look at the food pantry. Our food pantry renovation was done. What do you know to bring it from Habitat for Humanity? This is renovate station with us. Um, we got new walk-in. Wow. And this beautiful space here. Yeah, this is amazing. Yes. And what's unique about our food pantry, uh, we are a satellite of Helping Harvest. Okay. Is that our food pantry is open for whenever anybody needs it. So you don't have, you have to call them and say you're in need. It's open 24 hours a day. Okay. And they come and get whatever you need. 24 hours a day. Uh, yeah, anytime. That's incredible. Yeah, you just have to make sure you have to, you have to shut the staff know that you're coming. So is this food mostly donated or purchased a, a combination? It's all donated. All donated. Yep. Okay. okay, wonderful. All right. So this is our day room. Okay. Where the clients eat breakfast, lunch, and dinner seven okay. days a week, 365 days a year. Uh, we have volunteer groups that come in every day and provide, serve, 
uh, meals for the clients. So the volunteer groups provide over 50% of the meals at Opportunity House. Okay, so they come in and serve? Pro yeah, um, they provide the food, they prepare the food and they serve, or you have the option of dropping off. We okay. started dropping off during COVID and a lot of the groups are, ended up liking it, so now it's an option. I gotcha. You either serve or drop off. I came to Opportunity House because my, uh, my mother passed away and my stepfather sold the house up under us and we didn't have nowhere to go, so we called around and the shelter said they have a spot for us. So we came here and, you know, they made us feel welcome and warm. You know, we was nervous, we was scared. But I'm sure. They, but they made us they made us feel like, like we was at home, so Good. It, it, made it, it made it easier for us. Right. And so then um, we stayed here for a while and then housing came open. Mm -hmm. They have housing programs. Okay. And they came open and they gave us a housing program. So now I work in the kitchen to give back because they gave to me. Okay. So you're in permanent housing, yes. renting essentially. Uh, yes. And and you and now and to go to school. Oh, Southwest. And, and then the other one goes to daycare. Over there. Okay. And, and this is I'm at pre K, I'm sorry. Okay, and this is your job, you're not volunteering here. This is your your this is no, I'm one of your jobs. Here. Oh, this is volunteer. Yeah, okay. It's volunteer. Okay, I got you. And, you know, I volunteer here in the kitchen because they they gave me a chance, so I'm giving I'm giving back. That's <laughs> beautiful. Community. Well, thank you, Val. You're welcome. Um, all right, so we got Rich. Rich is going to tell us about his story. Okay, yeah. I uh, had some injuries, some health problems, and wasn't able to find work anymore. So my landlord actually brought me here. Wow. And make sure I had a place and a bed and everything. And I think right from the start, they all knew what they were going to do with me because I had a clean record, I had a driving record and everything. So okay. they took for a month, they gave me a job here driving. Love that. Drive people. We started off with the veterans. We helped the veterans. I was veterans, veterans program, SSVF. So you, so you get people to doctor's appointments wherever they doctor's need to go? Doctor's appointments. I've actually gone and picked up medication for people. Okay. Veterans hospitals an hour away. They have a local clinic. I just took a girl this morning. Brenda over to get surgery done. Yes, I've never worked for a place that the second floor girls have always got along with me. I've, anytime I've ever asked for anything, they were always there for me. Always. always. This place, even today, still helps me. You saw the pantry? Yeah. We get food, and we come home, it helps everybody. The community, they put a word out. We got turkeys, 50 turkeys, 50 hams, help out the whole community. Everybody. Everybody benefits from us. I've never seen this. I've come from middle class. I've never had anything like this. Never expected anything like this. All right, so now we're in the women's the women's dorm. Yep. Okay. So um, the family rooms are for women and children, and then the single beds are for the single ladies that do not have any children. Okay. And there's laundry services here. There's showers. There's two bathrooms. Awesome. Mm -hmm. yeah. All right, so we're in the you said the men's this dorm. Is the men's dorm. Okay. Mm -hmm. So when they come in, they start on the floor out in the day room, and mm -hmm. then they work up to this here and they get their own bed and they get their own two drawers and then the transition from here is if uh they're if they're, they're working able and to have... paying their rent and working the program doing everything that they're looking for a job right um you can end up going into transitional or permanent housing okay awesome mm -hmm. thank you yeah we don't have a we don't have a set timeline here we work on your schedule because everybody has their own journey right and they have their you know, you can't just put a timeline on someone else's. I imagine it just take just like everything else, it takes all kinds. Oh, I it can, does. I can it only does. imagine. Yeah, yeah. Yeah. Very nice. We are actually looking at the outside of the building and they basically own the whole block. So we are at four thirty North Second. And you mentioned something about the, a mural painter yeah, that Mike you have Miller, on staff. Um, he does a mural for us, so we have one here. That's and really we nice. Have another one down at the end of the garden. So, and, and, then, and then they're throughout the learning center. So you have a community garden uh, down down yeah, the way an here. Award, an award winning community garden. Nice. And you said children's center too down here. Children. Yeah, it's a learning center, Second Street Learning Center. Is okay. A daycare center. All right. So here is the building. Let's see if I can zoom out a little bit. No, I can't. And you're right at the uh, where the train tracks. Uh, there you sort of dead end there and then you own housing here. Yeah, you this said is our permanent housing. So okay. we have clients live in, I mean our residents live in permanent housing with their families. Yeah, brilliant. All right. Well, thank you so much for the tour today. I appreciate it very much, Stacey. No problem.